Hello everybody, welcome to day six of the yoga challenge. Yeah. Today we're going to work on the legs and, uh, you know, I just wanted to touch on yesterday I mentioned that we all judge ourselves and um, that's perfectly normal. It's just important not to attach yourself to those feelings of judgment. Uh, especially uh, I did get a few comments from some people uh, noticing uh, that they're not able to hold it as long as I am, which don't judge yourself based on that. Uh, I mean, if you uh, can't hold it as long, come back up, come right back into it. Uh, it's just important not to um, get attached to those feelings of frustration or get upset or discouraged uh, by the fact that you're... Um, not going as long as you'd like to be right now. You'll get there in due time. Do not rush the process. Uh, it's a learning process and uh, I'm learning along the way. Also, I usually judge uh, how long to hold it by watching the people that I'm teaching, so uh, I definitely uh, take those things into consideration. Uh, but I also want you to challenge yourself, but uh, just let it go if you, if you need to. And uh, we'll start in the seated position. Sitting with head, neck, and trunk in alignment. Close the eyes and relax completely. Breathe in deeply, exhale softly. Withdraw your mind from the activities of the day. Let go of the past, forget about the future, and simply focus on this moment from breath to breath. Relax your shoulders, relax your forehead, relax your hips and your knees, but maintain that spinal alignment, sitting tall and proud chest is open, allowing the breath to flow smoothly through that belly, the diaphragm, optimal oxygen flowing through the entire body. Feel the breath flowing in through the nostrils. Observe the breath flowing in and out of the body. Observe how the inhale creates space and feel that sense of letting go with the exhale. Inhaling more oxygen, exhaling more carbon dioxide, letting go of what you no longer need. Resolve in your mind that you'll spend the next hour with yourself, opening the eyes, remembering to take a rest whenever you need to, coming into child's resting pose or to the downward dog. We're going to come up onto our knees, get that nice lateral stretch going, knees are hip width apart. And we want to bring the left foot out in a straight line. Toes are pointing towards the edge of the mat. Twist the hips open to the front so you already start to feel that inner thigh working, your groin. You're going to take the left hand on the left upper thigh. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale. Inhale, reach up with that right arm. Exhale, start sliding that left hand down the leg, reaching overhead, not letting the chest collapse, rolling that right shoulder back and flowing down to your capacity in the gate latch pose. Breathe deeply here through the torso, feel that nice stretch through that right side of the body. Feel that inner thigh. Breathe deep. The 
slowly rising and falling. Inhale, arm back up. Exhale it down. Bring that left knee in. Right foot out. Square up those hips towards the front. Chest is open, shoulders back. Left hand. Straight up into the air. And when you inhale, raise that left hand up. Exhale, slide that right hand down, chest is open, shoulder rolls back, breathe deep here. Slow, soft breath. Inhale it back up. Exhale it down. Turning sideways to face the front of your mat. Bringing the hands down for all fours. And you're going to take that left foot out to uh, face the knee in a 90 degree angle. Then you're going to roll that right hip on top of the left hip, placing the foot edge at the bottom of the mat. Inhale, raise that right arm up. Keep reaching that right edge of the foot down towards the mat so you're getting that nice stretch through the leg. You feel that in your inner thighs. Breathe deep. If this feels good, feel free to raise that right leg up. You get that nice stretch between the glutes. Bring in the gaze up towards the right hand, breathing deeply. If the leg is up, bring the leg back down. Bring the right hand back down, twisting the body back around. Face all fours. Work in the opposite side. So bring that right foot out into a 90 degree angle. Send the body around towards the left. Left foot reaches back. The left outer edge of the foot is pressing into the mat. Inhale, open up that left arm. Chest is open, shoulders rolled back. Breathe deep here. Again, if you want to try lifting that left leg, keep the chest open. Engage the core. Breathe deep. If the leg is up, bring it down. Bring the body back around to the front. And we're going to press into the hands. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Create the arch with the back. Exhale. I mean, inhale, open. Exhale, hinge. Inhale, open. Exhale, hinge. And we're going to hold the arch. Breathe deep through the belly. Letting go of any tension in the spine. Exhale, release. Coming back to the all fours. Inhale, open the chest. Curl the toes. Exhale, down dog. Breathe deep here. Armpits into the ground. Heels down towards the mat, hips up towards the ceiling. Keep pressing those hands into the mat.
And you can either step towards your hands or if you want, bend the knees and try hopping towards your feet. Or towards your hands, sorry. Twisted tongue today. Inhale, open the chest, hands on the shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly come all the way up. And stand in your mountain pose. Feeling both feet evenly distributed. Make sure you're not shifting to one side or the other. Feel the body. Chest is open, shoulders back. We're going to bring the right foot back, heel in line with the left foot, but keep that 45 degree angle with the right foot. Twist the hips towards the front. And we're going to go into low pyramid. We're going to inhale the arms up, shoulders relax down the spine, chest is open, and just slowly start to hinge forward. You want to keep that left knee nice and soft so you're not hyperextending it. And we're going to go till the chest is parallel to the mat. You're going to feel that nice stretch all the way down your glutes to your hamstrings. And breathe here. Feel that nice stretch. Relax those shoulders. Chest is open. Breathe through the belly. Keep that left knee soft and just come up onto that left foot. Straighten out that left leg and start to hinge forward into the warrior three. Chest is open, shoulders back. Ground through that left foot. Hold and breathe here, lifting that right foot as high as you can, but only go to your capacity. Slowly exhale, bring the hands down to the mat. And we're going to come into the standing splits here, keeping that left knee straight. You're going to inhale, open the chest, exhale, hinge forward and bring that right leg up as straight as you can. Keep leaning into that left foot, relaxing that left hip back, feeling that hamstrings. Breathe deep and slowly bring that right foot on the left side of the left foot, pinky toes touching each other. So when you get the pinky toes touching each other, you notice that you're kind of sending yourself over towards the right hip. So we want to square it up, or sorry, you're sending yourself to the left hip. I really have a tongue twister today. So we want to square up the hips and send the right hip forward. Keep a slight bend in the knees. And you want to send that tailbone up towards the sky. Keeping that knees and just feel that nice stretch. Internal rotation of the hips. Breathe deep here. Slowly unwind that right foot, bringing the feet hip width, inhaling halfway, looking up, hands on the shins, exhaling down, inhaling, rolling all the way up, and let's try that on the other side. So this time, we're going to send our left foot back, heels in line with each other, left foot's in a 45 degree angle, square up the hips, keep the right knee soft, chest is open, shoulders back, inhale the arms up, exhale, start hinging forward at the hips, keep the hips square, and send the arms straight forward till your chest is parallel to the mat. Keep relaxing those shoulders back, but reaching forward. 
Keep relaxing into that right hip, feeling that nice stretch in the hamstrings. Breathe deep here. Keep that right knee soft and slowly come up. I'm going to fall into my light. Coming straight up into the warrior three. Keep the hips square. Hold and breathe. Exhale, bring the hands down. And again, get nice and steady. Hips are square. Inhale, lengthen. Chest is open. Exhale, send that left foot up for standing splits. Breathe deep. Exhale, bring the left foot on the outside of the right foot. Pinky toes are touching. This time we are sending our hips towards the right, so now we want to send the hips towards the left. So that left hip comes forward. Keep the knees bent. And just relax that lower back, sending the tailbone up. Breathe deep. Keep the chest open. We don't want to be collapsing here. Send that left foot straight back around to hip width. Inhale halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up. And feel what sensations you've created in your legs. Feels it burn. And we're going to stand. Feet hip width apart again. We're going to do a little balancing. And you can come to the top of your mat. I'm just standing forward so that you can see what I'm doing. So stand at the top of your mat. And feet are hip width apart. We'll just start off with a variation of tree pose before going into another. So we're going to ground through that right foot first. So we want to plant that right foot into the ground like a tree growing its roots. Chest is open, shoulders relax back. And we're going to slowly bring that left foot up and try grabbing that left foot and bringing it up to that right upper thigh, the soles of the feet pointing up and send the left knee down. Chest is open, shoulders back. If you want to hold on to the foot you can and just bring the left hand into the heart, half prayer, or you can bring both in. Breathing deep. Focusing on that point in front of you, finding that point of concentration. If you're feeling good here, maybe you want to start raising the hands up, maybe opening the arms up, maybe bringing the gaze up. Play around with it. Balance is needed in pretty much every pose, the concentration for sure. So it's always nice to ground yourself in these poses and play. Why be so serious? Exhale the hands down, release the left foot down, and plant that left foot into the ground. Chest is open, shoulders back. When you feel steady and ready through that left foot, Again, start bending up that right foot, grabbing the top of the foot, slowly bringing it up to that left upper thigh, sending that right knee down, keeping a hold of that left foot with the left hand, bringing the right hand in, if you feel good here, bringing the left hand in, 
breathing deep, focusing on that point in front of you, maybe bringing the hands up again. If you didn't do so on the last side, maybe you want to try this time. Chest is open. Breathe deep. Exhale the hands down. Exhale that right leg. And just walk it out. Now that we've opened our hips a little bit, our legs are nice and strong, our balance is coordinated. Let's go for the figure four. So again, feet hip or hip width apart. We're going to ground through that right foot again. This time, as we're sending that left foot up, we're going to keep it right above the knee. So notice the figure four, which is awesome. You know, if this feels great, just stay here. Do whatever you want. It's your practice. Hands into prayer. If you want to take it a step further, start bending that right knee and start sitting down. Keep that left knee pointing straight out, so actively send it down and keep sitting if you'd like. Keeping the chest open, you want to keep it as open as we can without hinging forward. We will get into that another day, but today we're just going to Sit down, chest open, shoulders relax down, and breathe. Focus on that point in front of you. Feel the burn yet? Exhale, straighten out that right leg. Send the left foot down. Let's work the opposite side. Balance, as always. Standing with feet hip width apart. Let's start bringing up. <laughs> Left foot is planted, just did that one. And ground through that left foot. Right foot comes up. Proper figure four. Keep sending that right knee out towards the side. Hands come into prayer. Again, just flow here if you want. If you want to keep going, sit down. Keep sending that right knee down. Really feel that release through that right hip. And just sit down and relax that lower back. Breathe deep here. Just keep feeling the release with each exhale. Bring it down for you now, don't take it too tough. So, let's bring our big toes together. We can't do a great sesh without a bit of Utkatasana. Start bending the knees, activating those quads, curving the tailbone, inhaling the arms up. This time we're going to bring the arms out to the side. Right arm and underneath the left, elbows up, shoulders back, chest open. Breathe deep, release, out to the sides, left and underneath right this time, elbows up, shoulders back, chest open. Breathe deep. Exhale, release, up to the sky, exhale down, full forward fold, inhale halfway, exhale fold, plant the hands, 
feet back into the plank. And this time we're going to bring it down to our elbows. And that straight line from head to toes, shoulders relax back down the spine. Breathe deep. Bring the hands back to where the elbows were. Bring the knees down. Sit back on your heels. Maybe by sitting back, you already start to feel that stretch through the quads. We're going to start in half hero. Awesome stretch for the quads. So bring that left foot out to the side. And if this feels great, if both legs feel great, then stay here. Otherwise, if it's too tight, let's bring that right leg straight out in front of us and just use our left leg. Whatever feels more comfortable. And stay here for a moment, chest is open. And we'll do the same thing if you have both legs up or if you just have the one. Hands behind you. And slowly come down one elbow at a time. And start to feel that nice stretch through the front of the leg. If this feels great, grabbing your feet and coming down all the way to your back. And breathe deep. Belly rising and falling. If you are doing one side at a time, come back up to your elbows, come back up to your hands. If you're doing both sides, just stay where you are. Stretch out that left foot and bend that right knee, bringing the right foot to the right hip. Slowly coming down to your elbows. And if this feels fine, come all the way down to your shoulders. Breathe deep. back up to your elbows, back up to your hands, releasing, and placing the feet together, getting that nice external rotation of the hips if you've been giving it a bit of internal, chest is open, you're just grabbing the peace fingers with the big toe, breathe deep here. just going to do a few leg lifts sitting up. This is called spinal flossing. It's going to get those nerve endings at the bottom of your spine. Inhaling, lifting the left leg up. Exhaling down. Inhaling, right leg up. Exhaling down. Keep going at your own pace. Breath is calm, mind is calm. Getting that sciatic nerve.
and rest. Lay down on your back. Roll over to your belly. And we're just gonna come up to our elbows and give our quads another nice stretch. We're gonna bend that right knee. You're gonna reach behind and grab the inside of the foot, the top of the foot, and just start to rotate that elbow up. So you're gonna rotate the shoulder inwards and just start putting pressure down on that right foot, sending it down to the ground. Chest is open, elbow up. Chest is forward, breathe deep. That left elbow is underneath the left shoulder. Just relax here. Releasing any tension you might be holding in the quad. Also feel that lower back. Slowly release the hand, bring the foot back. Right elbow and underneath the right shoulder. Kick that left foot back. Reach into the inside, sole of the foot, top of the hand on the top of the foot. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, twist that shoulder inwards, sending the elbow up, pushing that foot down. Breathe deep. Maybe one side's tighter than the other. Breathe softly, gently, smoothly. Slowly let it go. Hands back. Elbow or elbows underneath the shoulders. Pelvis is relaxed. And you're gonna send the hands where the elbows are. Arms into the chest. Breathe deep here in the baby cobra. Toes are pointed behind you. Squish your shoulders together and slowly push through the hands, keeping the elbows in. Chest is open. Breathe deep. Exhale, come down, push through the hands, bring it back to child resting pose, counteracting that backward bend with the supported forward. Relax your hips, relax your lower back. Come back to all fours. Slowly lower down, elbows in, so your belly hits the floor. And then we're gonna come sideways. And we want the elbow to be straight up, the left elbow to be straight up from the shoulder, so we don't want it coming forward, we want it straight. Then we're gonna bend the knees so the knees are straight out from the hips. Chest is open, shoulders back. We're going to bring the right knee into our chest and take your two peace fingers, grabbing the big toe of the right foot. And it's, if you can get the leg straight, awesome. If not, you're gonna work into it in time. Slowly kick the leg straight out. 
keeping it straight from the hip, tracing that straight line from the hip to the foot. Breathe deep here. Inhale, slowly bringing it up towards the sky. Again, the knee could be bent, whatever capacity you're at, honor it. We're all at different phases in the practice. Eventually, you'll be able to straighten out that leg. Breathe deep. Slowly bring it back down, not collapsing the leg, just bringing it straight out in front of the hip. Bending the knee, bringing it in, and we're going to send that leg straight down towards the bottom of your mat. Chest is open, keep that elbow straight up from the shoulder. And we're going to start isolating the inner and outer thigh. You're going to feel those glutes working also, and you're going to point the toes down towards the mat. So we're internally rotating the hips and activating those thighs. We're going to inhale, bring the heel up. Exhale down, keep pointing the toes down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down, keep flowing with your own breath, keep the toes pointing down. Slow, gentle, controlled movement. Breath and movement flow together. Keep the toes down. Really start to feel those glutes, the thighs. Bring it back down without collapsing again, bringing it back to center. Then we're going to point the toes up. So a totally different movement, at externally rotating, rotating the hips. We want to keep that leg as straight as we can. Keep the toes up. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. This could feel really weird. I know it does to me, but take it for what it is. Without judgment. Inhale up, exhale down, keep those toes pointed up, exhale down, no rush. Make sure that elbow is not moving. Toes pointed. Bring it back down. Point the toes back to the natural position. Bend up the knee. Grab that big toe again. Kick that leg out. Oh yeah, you feel that. Inhale it up. Exhale it down. Bring the knee back in and feel what sensations you've created. You know what's next. Opposite side. So rolling over onto that right arm. Right elbow is in line with that right shoulder. Make sure that the hips are in line with the shoulders. Knees are in line with the hips. And we're going to bring that left knee into the chest, grab the big toe with these fingers of the left hand, inhale, exhale, 
I'll kick it out. Breathe deep. Maybe you're feeling it more on one side than the other. Big deep breaths through the belly. Inhale it straight up. Try not to roll over. Keep that nice open chest. Again, if the knee's bent, whatever. Breathe deep. Slowly exhale it back down. Bend the knee. Kick the foot straight down the mat. Toes pointing. We're going to send the toes down. So start twisting that hip. Chest is open. Inhale up. Toes point down. Exhale down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Flow with your own breath. Listen to your body. Listen to your breath. Keep the toes down. No thoughts in the mind, only the awareness of your breath. Bring it back down to neutral. Point the toes up. Inhale the leg up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. You know what to do. Keep those toes up. As we lay in the couch pose, which is exactly what I'm going to do after this session. Read my book, curl up, you know. I think, uh, I think I deserve it. Back to neutral. Bend in the knee. Grab the big toes. Kick that foot out. Feel that nice, deep stretch through the hips. Quads. Inhale it up. Exhale it down. Bend the knee in. And roll over on your belly, or on your back, sorry. Blubber mouth today. But you know, that happens from time to time. And we want the lower back flat. Feet are on the mat, knees up. And we're just going to maintain that flat back, but send the knees up into the chest. And when you send the knees up into the chest, we're going to send the feet up towards the ceiling. We want the feet to be completely flat, facing the ceiling. Then we're going to reach, if you have to bend up the lower back to reach the feet, whatever. Do what you got to do. 
If you can flatten the lower back, that's ideal. You're already going to feel those hips activating. Then you kind of want to send the feet out just a little bit, but keep the soles of the feet facing the ceiling. So sending them out a little bit. You're going to inhale and again try to keep that back flat. And you're going to apply that gentle pressure down through the feet, sending the knees down towards the mat, opening those hips up in the happy baby pose. Breathe deep here. Keep applying that subtle pressure, feeling no pain, only tension you haven't released in the body yet. No good or bad. Simply enjoying what is. Keep applying that gentle pressure. Breathing deeply. Feeling a release with each exhale. Feeling that space with each inhale. You're going to slowly release the hands from the feet and let the feet go to the outer edges of the mat. And you're just going to inhale, exhale, drop the right knee down towards the left foot. Inhale the knee back up, exhale left knee to right foot. In a windshield wiper motion, inhaling up, exhaling down. Keep flowing with your own breath, opposite knee to foot, feeling that subtle twist in the spine. Exhaling knee down and holding it for a few moments, breathing through the torso. Inhaling it up, opposite knee down, holding and breathing. Bring it back up. Bring the knees into the chest. Placing your right hand on the left knee, keeping the knees in. Bringing the left arm out to the side, making that half a T. Inhaling into the chest, exhaling, sending both knees towards the right side, giving your spine that nice deep twist. And looking out through the left middle finger, relaxing the neck. Breathing deep through the torso. Inhale, knees back up to center, left hand on the right knee, right arm straight out, inhale into the chest, exhale, twist those left, knees down to the left, looking out through the right hand, breathing deeply, relaxing that neck, enjoying that gentle massage of your internal organs through the twist.
inhaling the knees back up into the chest and relaxing the legs down for Shavasana, our favorite time of the practice. Not really, but yeah. So let's just chill. Lay down on our back. Get your blankie or your sweater if you want to feel that much more comfortable to relax completely. Relaxing the body from head to toes. Scanning the entire body. Feel the body melting into the mat. Melting, melting. Reaping the rewards of the energy flowing through your body through the practice. Honoring your practice and accepting your practice without judgment. Noticing the breath in the nostrils, the breath in the throat, the breath in the chest, in the rib cage in the belly, feeling it in your lower back, your middle back, reaching your upper back, feel that whole space expanding with each breath. Open yourself up, you expand your mind, expand the awareness of your body. Notice the qualities of your breath now compared to the beginning of the session. Notice any changes. Scanning the body from head to toes, toes to head, head to ankle, ankle to head, head to knees, knees to head, head to hips, hips to head, head to base of the spine, base of the spine to head, head to navel, Navel to head, head to heart, heart to head, head to throat, throat to head, head to eyebrow center, eyebrow center to head, head to toe, awareness, feeling that awareness in your entire body. Whole body awareness. Absorb the silence. Appreciate the stillness. Realizing that everything is perfect the way it is, and you are perfect the way you are. Notice 
noticing the breath in the belly. Noticing the body on the mat, feeling the heaviness of the back of the head, the shoulders, upper back, buttocks, legs and heels. Start wiggling your fingers and toes. And reach your arms overhead for one last stretch. Pointing the toes down, arms up above the head. Exhale, release, and roll over on that right side for three breaths before coming back up to seated. Pushing yourself up with your hands, staying in the center of your being, keeping the eyes closed, head, neck, and trunk in alignment, hands resting on knees, bringing the awareness to the point below the tip of the nostril, feeling the breath moving in and out of the body, always in transition, Noticing that point of transition where the inhale turns into an exhale, that split second, that split second of stillness and silence, that moment of expansion. Bringing the palms of the hands together, rubbing the palms together, cupping the eyes, opening up the eyes, and resolving in your mind that you'll sit again for yoga and meditation, keeping up with this challenge, staying aware and awake. Calm, yet alert, if only for the rest of the day, maybe bring it into your day tomorrow. Bringing hands into prayer, thanking mind, body, and spirit for allowing us this practice. Namaste. I hope you can all feel your legs right now. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow, as always. Namaste.